Did you update your iPhone to iOS 16? Here are a few settings that I highly recommend you change. But before I get started with the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by SetApp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use the link listed down below in the description. Okay, so starting off, one of the most famous new iOS 16 features is the battery status bar. So in order for you to enable or disable this feature in case you really don't like it, you can simply press and go to settings, press on battery life, and here you go. You can enable or disable it. A lot of users are definitely not happy with the battery percentage icon because the battery icon doesn't correspond to the actual percentage. If you pay attention, it really looks like I have 100% battery, but as you can see, it's only at 53%. Apparently, Apple will update this icon soon in a new update, but until then, you can choose if you want to leave this on or now, another new iOS 16 feature that I'm really happy with is auto punctuation. So make sure you go to settings, press on general, keyboard, go down, and here make sure to enable auto punctuation. I'm going to quickly open a new note to show you how this auto punctuation feature works, but Pretty much, you will be using the dictation and you don't need to say period, question mark, or anything like that anymore. Your iPhone will auto-punctuate all of your phrases and it's pretty useful. So simply press on the dictation sign and as you can see, if I keep talking, it will automatically write whatever I am speaking and as you can see, it has the commas. So if I ask you, how old are you? What's your name? What's the weather today? It will automatically add all of the punctuations. So I'm really happy with this feature. Of course, sometimes it may not work 100%, but it's pretty useful. And if by any chance you'd like to have the keyboard feedback for whenever you're typing, make sure you go back to settings, press on sounds and haptics, press on keyboard feedback and enable haptic. I will say that this may be not the best option for your battery life but it is satisfying to use, so make sure to choose whatever you prefer. I like the feature. Talking about notifications, something nice of iOS 16 is that we now have the option to change the layout. So make sure you go to settings, press on notifications, and right here you already can see that you have three different options, count, stack, and list. The count option is really nice because you are able to have a clean lock screen. As you can see, I don't have any notifications showing up right here. I only have a count down below. So it says one notification. If I tap on it, it shows me the notification and I can quickly swipe down and make my home screen clean again. So make sure to choose the one that you prefer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I need to open a new application, I simply swipe down and tap the first letters of its name and open it on the spotlight search. Now on iOS 16, we also have the option to add the search bar, the search icon right here towards the bottom of the display. Then I can simply do the same thing, just tap on it, type in the name of the app and open it through Spotlight Search. If you want to enable this feature, make sure you go to Settings, press on Home Screen and Enable Show on Home Screen. 
and if you want to disable make sure to disable and as you can see you go back to the dots on the bottom and now on iOS 16, you can now use the new automatic verification feature to basically prove that you are you and you're not a robot. So simply go to settings, press on your name, press on password and security, and go all the way down and enable automatic verification. As you can see, there is a small explanation here. So this setting will bypass CAPTCHAs in apps and on the web by allowing iCloud to automatically and privately verify your device and account. So I'm pretty sure that you know what this means, but basically whenever you are authenticating, you're logging into an app or you're logging in any service that you may have, you won't need to tap on all of the stairs images or tap on all of the images that have a chimney or anything like that anymore. Of course, not 100% of the websites out there will work with this feature yet because it is pretty new, but it will definitely get better and better in the future. So I highly recommend you enable automatic verification. Another new setting that I highly recommend you enable on iOS 16 is to use the device passcode to unlock your notes. If you have protected notes that you basically open using a password, this will make your life a lot easier. So make sure to go back to settings, press on notes, press on password, and make sure to press on use device passcode. So now whenever you try to unlock a locked note, you will have the option to use face ID or your device passcode. So as you can see, if I press right here, it will unlock using face ID, which is a lot faster than typing in a long password. And if by any chance you don't like the show featured content, feature that your iPhone has that shows you random photos as memories, you can pretty much disable this now. So make sure you go to settings, press on photos, go all the way down and disable show featured content. As you can see down below, it says allow featured photos and memories to automatically appear on this device in places such as for you and search in photos and in widgets. You can pretty much choose whatever you prefer. You can either enable or disable this. It is definitely your preference. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I do love receiving rain alerts on my iPhone to make sure I have my umbrella, for example, if I'm walking somewhere and it starts raining. So in order to enable this feature, make sure you open the weather app, press and go to the list option, press on the three dots right here on the top right corner of the display and press on notifications. Right here, you have two really important features to enable, the severe weather one and the next hour precipitation. So make sure to choose your location, Atlanta, for example, and enable both severe weather and next hour precipitation. I feel like this is very important for you to have, especially if you leave somewhere that has a lot of storms like hurricanes, for example. So make sure to enable these features. And last but not least, another new setting of iOS 16 is the undo, send, delay on the mail app. So make sure you go to settings, press on mail, go all the way down and press here on undo, send, delay. This pretty much allows you to undo, send an email <laughs> after 10 seconds of hitting send. 20 seconds or 30 seconds. I feel like 30 seconds is better because you're safer this way. So make sure you go to this setting and choose the amount of time that you prefer. And these are a few settings that you must change if you updated your iPhone to iOS 16. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.